So the next logical step, I guess, really is to open Adobe Illustrator. When you do so for the very first time, you'll be taken to what's called the home screen, kind of a way to ease you into the application. You'll find in the upper half of the screen that Adobe provide a short list of exercises that you can work through to get to grips with the very fundamentals of Illustrator. Those links will take you to Adobe's own website where you might find resources and files to download and try out. You can also then in the lower section, build a brand new file for a mobile phone, for the web or for print as well. If you wish to learn a little bit more about Illustrator, you could always go to the learn section with a left click and this will display a larger collection of tutorials and exercises that you can work through in your own time. Lower down then it has a section that's all about your work. Now, if I click on cloud documents, it is possible to save your artwork to the Adobe Creative Cloud, rather like a file sharing service like OneDrive or Dropbox. At the moment, obviously we've not created any files, so this area is empty. Otherwise we would see thumbnails of Illustrator files in here and then anything that you might have deleted recently. You will notice that we also have an option to create a brand new file. This would take us to a dialog box where you could specify that exactly how you wish to, very similar to the home screen's presets, or open up an existing document from a locally connected drive. If you wish to know what the latest features are that have been added to Illustrator, then down at the very bottom left hand side, there's a section called what's new. If you left click on that, then you'll get a window that pops open and the categories for what's new are on the upper left hand side and you can either left click on those and then you'll get a short animation and a brief overview or you could click on next and work your way through those. If you wish to learn more about those new features then of course you can click on the learn more button but for now I'm going to go up to the top and click on the X inside of there. Very last thing to mention is that your Adobe Creative Cloud account will be shown at the upper right hand side of the screen and maybe any profile pictures that you've put in there and your account details can be accessed from the top right hand side in there as well. So that is the home screen folks.